So in this video, I'm going to talk about estimating the area of triangles, parallelograms, and trapezoids. So estimate the area of the following triangle. So here's the triangle, and it has a base of 4 centimeters. But with this given side, it's not enough for us to get the area of the triangle. So what we can do is just to at least estimate the area. And so since it's given it's 4 centimeters at the base, so we're going to divide it into 4 parts, meaning it's 1 centimeter each part. And then we will extend our our grid so that it will cover the whole triangle. And then we will do the same to the horizontal way, which is the same size as the vertical. And so we have formed the grid and we're going to count now how many blocks which are shaded for as a part of a triangle. So we have here one, two, three. And the rest are not fully shaded. And so we are going to count them as 0.5 for each, or half. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And so there are 13 um, parts which are not fully shaded. So we're going to times it by 0.5 later. So the area of the triangle will be 3, because there are 3 fully shaded squares, plus there are 13 halves. So 0.5 times 13, it will be 6.5. So 3 plus 6.5, so approximately the area of the triangle is 9.5 square centimeters. So estimate the area of the following parallelogram. So here's the parallelogram and there's no given length of side. So that means it's not possible for us to get an exact uh, value of the area. So what we can do is to at least estimate. And so we are going to estimate the length for each unit. So let's say it's this wide and as well as the horizontal grid so it must be uniform uh, or width of each unit. And then we are going to count the shaded squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there are 15 uh, fully shaded squares. And then we are going to count how many uh, partially shaded squares which will be counted as half for each. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So there are 20 partially shaded parts or squares. And so let us now compute the estimated area. So the area of this parallelogram will be approximately equal to 15 plus the 20 partially uh, shaded parts. So it will be 0.5 times 20, which will be equal to 10. So 15 plus 10, which will be 25. So the area of the this parallelogram is estimated to be 25 square units. So there, since the unit is not uh, given either centimeter meter or inches so we will name it square units estimate the area of the following trapezoid so here's the given trapezoid and the only given is the base on top which is two meters so obviously it's not enough for us to get the exact area of this trapezoid so what we can do is just to at least estimate its area. But we can use the base uh, measure, which is 2 meters, as our basis for uh, the width of its grid. So since it's 2 meters, so we are going to put two grids as 1 meter each. And we are, ex we are going to expand it with 
uniform width so that the whole uh, trapezoid that will be covered by the grid so as the horizontal uh, direction so let's count now how many squares which are fully shaded so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so there are twelve and let's count those partially uh, shaded squares which will be counted as one half so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so there are ten in all so the estimated area of this trapezoid is a equals so 12 because there are 12 fully shaded squares plus 0.5 or one half times 10 10 partially shaded squares which will be equal to 5 so 12 plus 5 is 17 so the estimated area of this trapezoid is 17 square meters Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.